between Abolog and Aerog in this mid-cork minor B football find David Buckley with the ball drives it up along the inside to the wing however the Aerog fullback clears it out to the centre half back and there's a foul on Killian Sheehan he takes a quick free down to the corner forward John Roach will receive this ball even goes Joe Foley being challenged the ball is broken back inside it's got by Mark ball is picked off the ground and that'll be a free out to Ahabalog Ball right up the wing here, Aaron Newstead grabs the ball and turns, bounces it, going straight across the field and lets the ball in towards the right half corner forward, Neil Casey flicks it on, inside for John McSweeney, John McSweeney is being pushed in the back and it's a free in, referee Michael O'Callaghan giving a free in to Ahabalog which will be taken by their free taker number 10 which is Aaron Newstead. Wind blowing from left to right in favour of Aerog in this first half. So Aaron will be kicking in against the breeze. He's coming up, kicks. It's good, it's direct, it's straight and it's over the bar. That's the first score of the game from Aaron Newstead. A point from a free about 30 metres out. And it's the opening score of this final. About two minutes gone in the game. Kick out to be taken by, I think, it's John Healy, the fullback for Aerog. Ball higher up, they will, David Buckley will challenge for this one to John Brennan, breaks it, one hand to the ball, gets two hands. Joe Foley receives the ball and drives it up along the wing again. Ball bouncing inside, Adrian Denise struggling for the ball inside. He's trying, he committed the foul and that'll be a free out to Aerog. A quick free taken out the far wing. Almost intercepted by Donald Moynihan. Touch to Brian Rehill trying to close him down, but Aero gets it out the wing and it's back right down the middle again. It's going to be right inside. It's a high kick, that's high, it's wide, but it's to the left and that goes wide. The wind having a bearing in this first half in that it's taking the ball towards the dressing room ends of the ground. It'll be Coleman Martin with the kick out. And he strikes one out about the 40 metre line. And Brian Rehill struggling for the ball, the ball bounces off the defenders. That's going to be a line ball to Ahabalog. Up the middle it goes again. Punched forward by the Airog centre fielder. James Spillane trying to get the ball, doesn't quite get there. The Airog full forward is fouled, and that'll be a free in. Airog looking for the quick free, but instead deciding on the occasion to take his time and putting the ball on the ground. about 35, 36 metres out from goals to the left of the goals and they should suit the right footed kicker. Composing himself, up he comes. Strikes a very good kick, it's high, but it's caught on the goal line by Coleman Martin and he does very well to kick it. Directly out the field, David Buckley challenging for it. Doesn't win the ball, it's won by Killian Sheehan and that'll be a free in. And that'll be a free in again to Airog, almost dead straight in front of the goals, approximately 30 yards out. Here he comes, strikes it well, and it's straight over the bar, and that's the equaliser for level scores after approximately four and a half minutes of play. Coleman Martin with this kick out in the 21 metre line. Ball drive out in the middle of the field again, it's broken across, but it's Aero pick up the break again. Joe Foley trying to get in a tackle and the ball goes right up the wing again between John Roach. The ball is broken out to the wing, John Roach doesn't get back there, he does. He's got the ball, he's being pressurised by the Aerog defenders. The ball goes up and up goes David Buckley and he does very well to grab the ball. And he gets it in towards the forward line. John McSweeney going up for it and that's a almost a good fetch. He has got it again but the ball is taken out of his hands. David Buckley recovers. Bounce it once, go across the field and looking for somebody inside but that'll be cleared <coughs> by the centre-back Noel Brennan for Aerog. Ball down the wing and that looks like a push but the referee lets the play carry on. Ball is Oh, it's a great catch by the arrow forward. He lets the ball inside and he's turning. He's on his left foot. He shoots. 
And that's a good score for Emery Rogue. And Martin will take this kick out once again for Ahabalag. Out it comes. It's a very good kick out around the middle of the field. David Buckley rising again upstairs with Donald Moynihan. Ball down the wing. Up the wing, but it's recovered by the Aero Carl Backs who are doing quite well at the moment. James Spillan trying to break the ball down. He does. Patrick Murphy doesn't quite get to it. And the ball is got out by Michael Kelleher. Taking too much out of it. And legally intercepted by the Aero corner forward. The ball goes right in. Ooh. And the ball bouncing off the ground and over the bar for Aero's third point. Three points to one. Seven minutes gone in the game. Aero coming much more into the game. They've settled much more better in the last ten minutes or so of the half and are doing quite well at the moment. It's collected again by Aero but the ball has gone to ground and it's collected on the far side of the field. They are going forward to pick the ball off the ground. The decision not greeted with a lot of joy. Brian Rehill will take this free. It goes right across the field. Jar Manley trying to get to the ball. It's broken out the wing. Out to me, Hollow Larry. And now this is Aaron Newstead. And Aaron punches it back inside again. Donald Moynihan with the ball. He's being turned down to his left foot. Takes a toe to hand. Looking at the ball, bouncing at once. Looking for some support. It's arriving in the form of David Buckley, but it's intercepted by Killian Sheehan, who drives the ball out of the wing. And that. And he drives it in. Up around the middle of the lane. Jar Manley trying to rise to this. Jar is being fouled by Noel Brennan and that will be a free in. Aaron Newstead again will take this free which is about 30 metres out to the left of the goal which should shoot a right footed kicker. Kick into the stiff breeze. Up comes Aaron. He kicks. Oh, it just drifts over the football championship final. The day has got a little overcast and the wind is blowing still from left to right. Ball comes out from Noel Brennan out around the centre of the field. Donald Moynihan is flicked back inside. Donald, Mo Donald Moynihan picks the ball up. Looking the ball up the wing, up along the wheel to Adrian Deneen. Adrian collects while well, the ball bounces off his fingers. He recollects the ball. Being pressurised by the arrow backs, gets the ball onto his left foot. Going right across the field. Gets a high kick in towards the square. Mihal O'Leary breaking the ball down. It's collected out by Noel Brennan. And Noel finds Killy out the wing. Joe Foley putting pressure on the arrow right off forward. But who collects it right across the field? And the ball has gone right in towards the square. Cut out by James Spillane. But it's still collected and they still has it. The ball has gone right inside. It's out the wing. Michael Keller trying to get in a challenge with the arrow. Player kicks it right across the goals and the ball goes wide. And Coleman Martin will take this kick out. And out it comes again. Dropping about 40 metres off the goal. David Buckley rises. Knapp doesn't quite get there though. John Roach collects it out. The ball having got back in towards the ground. He gets it out the far wing. It's a good ball. Neil Casey going for this one. Gets the ball into his hand. <coughs> Finding David Buckley in the middle of the field. David step aside, step here, challenge. And then gets it up the wing. Up towards Adrian Deneen. John McSweeney comes out and makes a great fetch in the air. John bounces once. Goes toe to hand. He's still going in towards the goal. He's the ball in his favourite left foot, but it's across to Aaron Newstead. Aaron turns inside. And he is fouled on his way in. And that will be possibly a 20 metre free to Ahabalag. And it would appear that Aaron Newstead himself will take the free. But at this time, the ball goes in and he puts it straight over the bar. That's a better kick from Aaron, and which brings the score back to three points to two in favour of Aeroge, with approximately 11 minutes gone in the game. Noel Brennan of Aeroge, full back, will take this kick out. The wind has died a little bit, it seems to be rising in fits and starts. Noel Brennan will take this kick out. It should land around the middle of the field, and it does. Up they go again. Donald Moynihan doesn't get quite that there. The ball comes out to Jar Manley. Jar, great ball out the wing to Aaron Newstead. Back inside to Donald Moynihan, trying to get inside Noel Brennan. He does get the ball, back out to Aaron Newstead. Aaron kicks it off the inside of his right foot, and that's an excellent score. A very good score by Aaron Newstead. Kicked it off the outside of his right foot, and curled it in perfectly over the bar. It'll be John Healy with this kick out. 
Out the wing it comes. Aaron Newstead challenging for the ball. Doesn't quite get there. The arrow right half forward picks the ball up. Joe Foley trying to challenge. Ball is back down the wing inside. Down towards the corner forward. John Roach does very well to judge the ball and collect it very well. Back towards James Spillane. That will be a free end. Going to catch people. The ball right back inside. Sit inside by Michael Kelleher. And Michael drives the ball out. Adrian Deneen, the ball gets the finish in at the bounce. And Adrian is going. He's going up the far side. He's going to the hand. He's gone to the bounce. He's gone about 30 yards in from the goals. He flicks it inside. The pass is a little bit too far. Donald Monaghan will have it. Goes down on it. Being challenged by Noel Brennan. Not fouled. The ball has gone back out the field. Jor Manley with the ball. Jor bouncing. Going inside. Onto his right foot. He doesn't get all that he'd like to get there, I'm sure. The ball is very close to the end line. John McSweeney wins the ball very well in the end line. John will be trying to get it onto his left foot. But it's deflected. Strikes it. Not as good as his last one. Ball out the wing. Mihal O'Leary trying to challenge for it. But it's clear by the air over right cornerback. Beating everybody, I think. Yes. Except David Buckley, who's waiting for the ball. David doing very well at the moment at centre field. Has come back into the game very well. Ball out the far wing. Donald Moynihan. Falling. Getting the ball back into his hand. Going on a bit of a solo run. Up the middle of the field. He needs somebody to pass there. He finds Jor Manley. And Jor is on the ground. Jor is fouled. And that will be a twist from a similar distance before. Almost dead straight in front of the goals. About 25, 26 metres out, off comes Aaron, he chips it, and he puts it over the bar. That's a very good score again from Aaron, and Ahabola go back in front and take the lead four points to three. Ahabola have come much more back into the game in the last five or six minutes and have picked off some nice scores. Our, their only score at the moment is Aaron Newstead, three from freeze, one from play. John Healy with the kick out, comes out this wing again, it's going to beat them all. Killian Shane of Aero running for the ball, being chased very quickly by by uh, Joe Foley, up along the wing, John Roach. Joe Foley puts his foot in the ball, John Roach trying to get the ball, kicked along the ground, out the wing. Donald Moynihan losing control of the ball. He, la he gets down on the ball again, he's pushed in the back, and that'll be a free for Donald. Ball long way up the wing, John Manley will be shamozzled, he's been bottled up, and that'll be a free in. David elects to kick this one himself from his hands. Kicks it a rather high ball across the square. Neil Casey will be challenging for this. Doesn't quite get there. Aaron, Joe Manley does. Joe will go down on the ball. And he's being pushed in the back again. The in for Ahabolog. Aaron Newstead making the long trip across from his left half forward position to the right half forward position where the free will be taken from. Up he comes. And strikes it. And strikes a very good ball in. But it's a bit too strong. Ahabolog have taken over a little bit at centre field and in the half-back line in the last six or seven minutes and lead the game by one point. Back out the field again. N Neil Casey drawing a rather wild punch in the ball. Joe Foley does very well to win the ball and does very well to lay the ball off up the wing to, jo to Adrian Deneen. Adrian does a great turn going up along the inside, going toe to hand left and right, flicks it over the head of the man coming player. A clash of legs. Ball coming out to Jor Manley. Jor being tackled by the Arrow centre fielder. Back out the wing to David Buckley. David steps inside the player very nicely. And off his left foot kicks a very dangerous ball in. John McSweeney breaks the ball down to Darren Neustadt. Ooh. Have, look, have a lot of position at the moment. Would want to be translating it into scores. Ball comes out the far wing. Aaron Neustadt will go for this one. Gets a flick out to the wing to it and gets his hands on the ball. He's gone up the wing. Toe to hand. Very close to the sideline at this stage. Gets the ball nicely across the middle to Joe Foley. Joe his kick is blocked down very well by the arrow right half forward who gets the ball further out the ball bounces off the arrow centre fielder and who it's half blocked Aaron Lusta gets the ball in his hand again and kicks it in along the inside the ball is broken down Noel Brennan trying to get the ball out for arrow but the ball crashes into Killian Shane and now it's coming out to Killian Shane on the wing and that's a very good arrow passing movement up along the right hand touchline here David Buckley couldn't get there ball going inside for James Spillane Michael Callagher racing for it for Ahabal, but it's retrieved by the arrow cornerback James Spillane. They've changed their free kicker in this case. This will be a right footed kicker, but it should be no problem. And it isn't. Directly straight over the bar. Up comes Coleman and drives it out. A very good kick out again. Or around the middle of the field. Up there, eyes for it. There's a push on the back of, I think it was David Buckley's hand. A great ball inside. He's running inside. He gets it on his left foot and a little bit wide from David off his left foot. I think it was possibly after when it's gone. A low sort of a kick out along the wing. Uh, 
an infringement on Noel Brennan's scene. And he will take the free himself off his hands. A low ball up the far left-hand touchline. Brian Rehill and the left half forward for Arrow over running the ball. Michael Kelleher gets his foot to it. Brian Rehill gets another foot to it. Comes up to Neil Casey. Neil being challenged by the Arrow man. Bounces once, fits it back. And a great ball back along the wing. Flicked in by John Manley. Collected up by Adrian Deneen again. And Adrian is going on a bit of a run. He's gone inside. He's still going. He's on his feet. He's lost control of the ball though. And the Arrow defence crowd him out of it eventually. And get the ball out the far away. Joe Foley trying to put in a challenge. I'll sort of a and nothing while Joe Foley gets a finger to the ball breaks inside to Killian Sheehan. Killian knocks up the far side of the wing. James Spillan trying to go for this one. Taps the ball over his right hand. Ball inside again. It's a bit of a, a bit of a bit of a struggle. The ball has gone inside again to the air Oakville forward. He loses control of it momentarily. Gets the ball low along the ground. Cross to the right corner forward. He doesn't go down. The ball has gone on it. And the ball will be clear. Michael Keller trying to get down in this one. He does. Gets the ball into his hand. Is fouled and that's going to be cleared. A free out for the foul on Michael Kelleher. Michael will take this one himself and he kicks it uh, right across the field into the traffic. The ball is flicked inside and this will be a high ball in that's going to go straight directly and over the bar. Coleman Martin will take this kick out once again. And out it comes. Around the middle of the field, David Buckley rises high. The ball is broken down. Not a break of the doing much better at centre field in the last number of minutes. Ball broken inside. John Roach will collect this one. John gets it into his hand. John over carries with the ball. Another free in and another chance to put another point on the scoreboard for Aerog and put them two points up. Swings it off his left foot, goes almost straight across the goals. Ball is brought out by Michael Kelleher, who's playing very, very well at right cornerback. Bouncing it once. Getting it out to Brian Real. Brian gets it far up the wing. Lovely ball to Neil Casey. Neil bounces it once. Going on a bit of a sort of hand. Gets inside his man and he's gone up the far wing. Still bouncing. And he, then he lets the ball in high. John Healy and John McSweeney. The ball is broken inside, but collected by the Aero right cornerback, who is fouled in the process. And he will kick it himself. And he does. Up around the left half forward position. Ball broken down inside. Collected up by Patrick Murphy. Ball is a little bit high. Broken down by the Air Oak centre half back. Noel Brennan and Noel after knocking it down to the wing. Joe Sullivan now for Air Oak, dropping the ball up the wing. And it's flicked on again. Almost intercepted by David Buckley. Killian Sheehan manages, does manage to get his hand to it though. And that's going to be intercepted again. Very well there. I think that's by Michael Keller who gets the ball very well out the wing to David Buckley. David lets the ball in low. Jor Manley will receive this one. And Jor gets the ball into his hand. Going in a bit of a solo run. Far out the far wing. It's going out the far wing. Is it gone? No, it's Donald Manning will get it. It's going in a very good solo run. He's still going. He's still going. Can he get a score? John McSweeney gets the ball bounced. And that's going to be a tackle on the goalkeeper. That will be a free out. The referee of the whistle blown. Will five points to four. John Healy will take this free out. It comes out the far wing. Aaron Newstead will, will not make it. Joe Foley does make it with a left hand and doesn't now eventually make it with his two hands. A very good ball up the wing to Aaron Newstead. An even better one into Joe Manley. Joe going up on a bit of a solo run. He's a little bit far out. Gets the ball back in across the middle and there's nobody there except the air rogue left half back who gets it out. Joe Foley trying to challenge for the ball. The ball beats the two of them. Padraig Murphy gets the ball very cleverly on his right foot and lets the ball back in again. Michal O'Leary trying to break the ball down, but he can't get there. He just can't get there, and that'll be a free out to Airog. Ball out the far wing. This is Joe O'Sullivan, and Joe O'Sullivan Airog looking for somebody on the right. And on the right is Killian Sheehan, John, uh, John Roach. And John Roach does very, very well to intercept it. And then kicks a high one up the middle. Ball broken down again. And Neil Casey beaten by the Airog left half back. Good ball out the wing to the Airog centre forward. Joe Foley won't make it. It's gone right inside. And this is a shot. And that is a very good score for the Aero to strip with approximately four minutes to go to the break. And with no injury time, it would appear that that's it, as it will stay. Ball battered down the far wing. Connected up by Donald Moynan. Up the far wing. Right knocked out of his hand again. And that's a very neat pick up by Neil Casey. Trying to go inside, trying to look for somebody to pass and lets the ball in. Ball goes right across the goals. John McSweeney gets the ball into his hand. John trying to get onto his left. He's being harried by the Aero backs. Trying to and John gets a good kick in, but the ball is blocked down. This will be Michal O'Leary. 
Gets the ball, gets down on the ball. Now, what's he going to do with this one? He's out, gone for a toad and very clever ball out to Aaron Newstead. Aaron gives it back into Michal O'Leary and Michal grabs the ball in his hand. And can he get his kick in? He can. But and David Buckley collects it up. And David is fouled. And he, there will be a free in. Aaron Newstead will make the trip over again from left half forward to right half forward to take the kick. Anybody's game at the moment is two points in it. Coming up to the break, Aaron Newstead will take this kick. A difficult kick again, and he's kicking into the wind, and he's on the right of the goal, which would not normally suit a right footed kicker. Up he comes. The ball goes in high, it's hanging in the air, it's blocked out by the goalkeeper and cleared further again by John Healy, the fullback for Aerog, and he does very well to get the ball out the far wing where there are two Aerog people waiting for the ball. The ball is knocking to somebody to pass to gets the ball right across the middle. Germanley falls when the ball was arriving. The ball left out the far wing again. The arrival, David Buckley travels back again and he's covering a lot of ground in this and covering very well and does a great ball across to Donald Moynihan. Now bat it. And Donald going on one of these solo runs that he has. He lets the ball go out this time, but unfortunately, and he hits a high one in around the middle of the goals. Charmanley will rise and challenge for this. The ball is broken out, but it's Air Ogre picking up all the breaks around the backs, and they'll have to do a lot better than that. I have if they're going to improve it. The ball is let long, and they're letting the ball go a long bit. The ball coming in, and John Roach, who's playing very, very well. Doing very, very well. A great ball back up the field again. Donald Moynihan gets his ball, hand in the ball. He gets two hands on it eventually. Ball right across the square. Neil Casey trying to get his hand in along the ball, but doesn't make it this time. Ball played out the far away. The Aha Bollocks in the back. Padraig Murphy won't make it. Standing off. Waiting for the arrow player to play the ball, who plays a nice ball up the wing to Joe Mo Sullivan. And Joe lets the ball back in again. And he's almost met by his shoulder from Joe Foley. Joe didn't quite. And up he comes. A very good kick. It's high. It's blending around the middle of the square. The Abolic back score for John Roach coming out with the ball again. The Abolic full back line doing quite well under a certain amount of pressure, but John loses the ball on this occasion. Game is on. Ball won by Donald Mine and driven in towards the full forward line. John McSweeney trying to reach out the ball at the start of the second half. The ball is still on the ground now. It's going to be picked up by the arrow right corner back who lets the ball out the far wing. Patrick Murphy challenging for the ball, breaking the ball down, but it breaks quickly very inside, inside out along the sideline, but the ball is kicked out over the sideline by the air, Rogue right half forward. John Roach played very well in the first half, well out. And the ball is swung on almost by Aaron Newstead. John McSweeney breaking the ball down, it's Adrian Deneen, Adrian on his left hand foot. And Adrian kicks and Adrian scores a lovely score. And that puts the game back in the first minute of the second half. Ball right out the far side of the wing. This will be Donald Moynihan racing for it. Donald collects on his right foot. Kicks it high up along the inside of the wing. Feeding Adrian Deneen again once more on the corner. It's going very high. John McSweeney comes across and does very well to collect it on his left foot. John, an accurate kicker, played very well in the semi-final against Donald Moore. Doesn't win it on this occasion. Ball come back out the field. Patrick Murphy won't get in the challenge. Don Donald Moynihan trying to get in a challenge. And it's the Aeroge's full centre forward who has changed. Ball broken home. James Spillane does very well to win the ball. And James gets it out the field, right into traffic almost. Where there are places papered by Aeroge people. Back up into the wing. Michael Kelleher won't get across in there in time. The ball pushed out the wing. Joe Foley gets in a tackle. John Roach gets a foot and the ball is coming back out again. Oh, it's Donald Moynihan gets it to Aaron Newstead. And Aaron gets the ball into his hand. Now, looking up, letting the ball in high. And towards John McSweeney. John breaking the ball down to Adrian Dini and Adrian with shot and a goal! A great breakdown by John McSweeney. Broke it into the pad of Adrian Dini and he rifled it into the top right hand corner of the net. And that's a great score for Adrian Dini who has scored. Kid again. Centre forward for Aerog. Back set to Noel Brenner. Noel far up the far side of the field. Racing out for this one is John Roach and John gets a hand to it and John does very well to collect the ball into his hand again. Breaks the ball down, lets the ball back towards Patrick Murphy. Patrick's kick is half blocked. Comes back again to John Roach. Ball out the far line, and Air Oak have done very well to recover, recover that ball towards Air Oak and towards the square. Collected by Joe Foley. Joe doesn't quite hold on to this one. The ball is broken down. Stepped over by, and that's a very good collection again by Michael Keller, who's playing an outstanding game. Back out the wing. John Manley gets a hand to it, keeping the ball moving. Adrian Dineen get a foot to it. The ball is broken down, and Noel Brennan will collect this one for Air Oak. Doing very well is Noel, and that'll be. Uh, very scrappy play over there at the first side. However, the arrow right corner forward winning the ball in this case, and it's.
it's collected by John Roach who's doing very very well lets the ball out to David Buckley David bouncing it once and then letting a long kick out the far side of the field Donald Casey, Neil Casey running for the ball broken back inside and Adrian Deneen does very well and this is Neil Casey moving on with the ball has a clash between Killian Sheen and Neil Casey but Killian doesn't wins the ball but Donald Moynihan does very well to let the ball back in towards John McSweeney once more and John gets the ball out from his hands this time does very well wins the ball now he goes down on it going around his player John on his left foot kicks it in towards the goals the keeper does very well inside for Airog, collecting the ball and letting a short kick out to John Healy the fullback for Airog. John being challenged and lets the ball out further out the wing and back up the field it comes again intercepted very well by David Buckley and David lets the ball in it's a high one it's bouncing for three Adrian Deneen and Adrian takes his shot and the ball down collected by Ger Manley Ger looking for some of the ball to pass to Ger is on his right foot lets the ball in but Ger this game seems to be going fits and starts Ahabolog dominate for a period and then Airog and then Ahabolog and it's swinging back and forth it could go either way it's not over at all yet out come Airog once more David Buckley having a great game at the start of the second half getting the ball onto his right foot and lobs a very high dangerous ball in towards the goals John McSweeney struggling for the ball Adrian Deneen trying to get the ball into his hand again John McSweeney has it John kicks his kick is blocked down but the Airog full back Aaron will take this kick Aha Bullock lead one goal and five points to six points important kick for Aaron kicks it very well and the direction is absolutely brilliant. An excellent score by Aaron Newstead. And that's that's another point for the a free in. Movement all over the place up front. Michael Keller following the Aerog right corner forward. Noel Brennan will take this kick for the Aerog men. High up the field it comes again. Once again out it comes. Out comes Brian Rehill collecting the ball in his hand being held, gets the ball forward, referee gives him advantage Donald Moynihan gets the ball in his foot, Donald kicks it high but Donald kicks it very well again is John Healy John with the ball over in the middle of the field, up there eyes again, David Buckley soaring high but if the ball breaks down forward to John Manley getting a nice low sort of a ball in, John Healy does very well, John McSweeney trying to get in his challenge, John does quite well but John Healy that is holding on to the ball, passing the ball out, Neil Casey and this should suit Neil, he's on his left he doesn't quite get the direction that he's right. John McSweeney trying to upset the fullback, but upset him illegally, according to him. Right the ball into Aaron Newstead. Aaron coming inside. He's going toe to hand. And he is pulled by the arm. And that will be a free in. A free in for Aaron. Four forty three metres out. Almost in the exact same position as the 45 kick he took some time ago. He kicks this one very well again. He kicks it direct and straight at all points being pulled by the arm David decides to take the free quickly in himself it breaks inside but doing very well inside is Noel Brennan who collects the ball collect it up oh, it goes two people waiting for it Patrick Murphy gets, breaks the ball down but the so high John Roach doing very well again judging it perfectly to Joe Foley and Joe lets the ball long up the field Joe Manley breaking the ball inside and doing very well getting the ball in low but rise again Joe Manley gets, gets a hand to it doesn't quite get possession though Aaron Nusa challenging for the ball with the ball going back up the wing and it's intercepted here but never mind the ball goes back in low me hollow there he's all alone inside is he shooting he is it hits the post John McSweeney must be oh a great save a great save right into his hand it appeared he had nothing to doubt for Airog a very 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 important let off maybe for Airog there John Manley collecting the ball on the far side of the field letting the ball in off his right foot John McSweeney trying to win the ball but John Healy doing very well and he fouls his foul takes the quick free himself out comes the ball Noel Brennan with a long kick out the field <coughs> up the far wing it goes a great ball Joe Foley trying to get his tackle in but the Airog have an overlap here Brian Rehill does very well to get a foot to the ball almost one out by Donald Moynihan and it's gone out all broken inside <coughs> broken out the field well blocked down again as it's coming out the swing and that ball broken off him and, and a decision that <coughs> out the far wing is Joe Sullivan Joe Foley the ball is broken inside one bounce a great ball back inside the field John Roche will win this one Kicked and cleared by John Roach. Neil Casey getting his fist to the ball, but it doesn't quite work off on this occasion. Ball broken out. Collected by David Buckley. And David gets a great ball up the wing to Jermanley. And now Jermanley's got a run and goal.
getting the ball in low. Adrian Deneen doesn't quite get possession, but he keeps his eye on the ball and he turns lovely. Back inside, on his left foot. He kicks it, but it looks like as if there's going to go to the wide. He gets a hand to it and does very well to keep going. He's gone inside, now is this a score? He kicks, hits the post again! David is very much awake though, and he's, he's on the rebound. Goes inside, and he's fouled, and that will be a free in. Aaron chips, Aaron kicks, and Aaron puts it straight over the bar. Another very good score. Collected up by the Joe Sullivan, it looks like. Joe's fouled, and that'll be a free in. Killian Sheen, that was rather. Up the far wing, this is Joe Sullivan. And he's got the ball in his hand. He's going inside in a bit of a run. Gets the ball into his hand. He's still trying to get inside. The ball is flicked over his head to all alone. The ball kicked right into the middle of the square. Brian Rehill going for the ball. Hits off his head. It's broken down to the air. Oak centre off forward. Coming out is Brian Rehill. Brilliantly to flick the ball over his head, but he hasn't got control of it yet. Flicks the ball inside to Adrian Deneen. Adrian on his left foot. Decides to kick, decides to shoot. It's broken inside by the goalkeeper, who does very well again. A little bit strange, but he was to do to bat the ball away, but he did very well to retrieve the ball at the second attempt. John Manley is beaten on the far side, almost struggling for it. He's fouled and it's a free out. And Michael Keller has rather recovered the ball that time. And he gets a great kick up the field. And the ball broken down again. Erog after taking over again at centre field and half back. It's amazing the way the game goes. And J James Spillane, who's played very soundly all day, kicks the ball right down the middle of the field. John. And the ball goes. Oh dear, 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 dear. He possibly had too much time. Neil Casey does very well, but a little bit wild right across the goals. Michal O'Leary will get this one. He's got, it in. He's got it on the ground. The ball is drifting very close to the end line. And Clanrod fell to the Erog men in the semi final. Feeds the ball back to Podrick Murphy and Podrick lets the ball. Excellent tackle by the Arrow man, totally clean. Podrick Murphy will let this one in a little bit high. Of his right hand foot. Gets a fist all alone.